guys and welcome to Bahol. We are currently driving, we've just been through Tagbilla in city and we're driving onto Panglao Island right now. We are so excited to be here. If you missed the last video, we took a ferry from Cebu to Bahol and we booked the business class ticket. So that was the last video on the channel. So make sure you go and watch that for our full experience. But right now we're in our car and we're headed to our hotel. And it's just so nice driving back through Tagbilla and seeing some of the little places we remember visiting before. I don't know what it is. I feel like we've spent loads of time on Bahol and it's just a really lovely place. We really enjoy being here. We're currently sat in the back of the van exporting the latest vlog. And it's just so funny being back on the road, like editing on different transportations. Um, this feels like the good old days back to us in 2018, 2019. We always talk about those times, but they were just like the best times ever. So um, it's nice having a little taste of that as well. Coda's back asleep. Coda's asleep. Look at this. Thank you. Thank you. We always do this, but we always have our hands full. I know. So it feels like it's a nice, though. It's neat. Yeah. It's super hot in the hole. Just driving through there, I'm very excited to be here. There's like some new spots popped up. Make sure you're subscribed. The next few days, we're going to explore around because it seems like there's a lot of new stuff going on. But for now, checking into our hotel, we're staying at Saleya. Again, we just came from Saleya in Cebu. They're having us here as well. Thank you. Looks amazing. Nice. Okay, check-in is done. They've given us a load of welcome snacks and drinks, so we're going to enjoy whilst Coda finishes off his nap. He's so sleepy. Bless him. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> yeah, Lucy hasn't eaten today. Um, looking forward to this. Actually, I didn't know to expect it, so I'm not... I wasn't looking forward to it because I didn't know it was going to be here. But now I'm here, I'm happy to have it. <laughs> so sleepy. Slide, yeah. What else? Kids. 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 Yeah, kids. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we've had our snacks. Do I look tired? I feel tired. I need to wake up. I need a coffee, that's what I need. So our room is ready, we're going to head up now. But a super warm welcome from all the guys here at Solea Pang Lao. our new room. That is so kind. Look guys, they have given us a little welcome cake here as well. Ooh. No, I didn't. Oh, loose. Cookie. A massive One cookie. One massive cookie. Oh, yes. Cookies are like my weak spot. And look at this, dear Miss Lucy. So it's me, Miss Lucy. Welcome to Saleya. <laughs> just me. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Code on the phone. Code is just uh, following up the luggage. <laughs> Who's on the phone? Bye. The highlight of this room is definitely this view. Isn't it? It's amazing. Look it's at all these boats are. Unbelievable. We're right on the beach as well, and the pool looks amazing. Yeah, oh, man. Super spacious. I love a room where there's so much space around the bed. Okay, sorry. Rewind. It's time for a juicy block room tour. So you come in, you've got huge open wardrobe space here, which is really nice just to put suitcases and like. It's just nice having extra space. Coda wants to show you the bathroom next. I think. Bathroom. We've got a shower. Toilet around the corner. I can just see your back. Oh, sorry. How many room tours have you done, Liz? <laughs> sorry. Shower. Uh, we can watch each other shower. Oh, I love rooms like this. I love yeah. watching you shower. Hello. Hi. Boo. Boo. And then we've got two double beds just here, so it's nice, George and I. When we have our arguments, we can have separate spaces to sleep at night, which is always handy. Do you know what? Do you know what? I know, like, couples and, like, connection and closeness. Sometimes your own bed. You want to have starfish, don't you? It's quite he's nice. He's unlocking the safe or locking the safe. He's a code cracker. He is. That's his uh, calling he's, in life. He's even listening in. He's like. Yeah, he is. He'll get there. Give him a few minutes. What number is it? Classic. We've got a lodger, guys. 
He sucks. Are you, do you need help? He's camera shy. Oh. He's here. Oh, hey, look, lizard, your favourite. What is lizard. it? Lizard. Where's the lizard? Oh, I like it. Bye bye, lizard. And then we've got a TV on the wall, a little dressing table slash desk area here. And then if you turn around and it goes onto the balcony. I just love this balcony. It's such a cool view. Here we go. Thank you so much. <laughs> just what we need. Okay. Wow, Coda's a little bit hungry. Are you helping yourself? You can help yourself. So I think the plan is for us to have a little bit of coffee, give Coda a little snack, then we're gonna go for lunch. And then guys, it is 3 p.m. already. So I'm thinking, if I know anything about the hole, is that there are beautiful sunsets here. And yes, I do believe the sun is setting in the sky tonight. So that, and we can see the sky. So that means we're gonna get a beautiful view of sunset. Pull the cherry, that's it, pull. Good boy. Oh, Put the cherry back on top. Back. That's really sweet. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Hello, how are you? Thanks. Just kidding. Hi. Thank you so much. So we've come to Earth, which is a restaurant that's open all day. I think this is where they've served breakfast, but you can order off like a normal menu for lunch and dinner. Uh, George has ordered rice, but I think you've ordered for about 20 people. I didn't know that. Really. <laughs> it's kimchi rice, but it's, it's huge. So this is my hand for reference. Uh, we've got some sweet and sour pork, and I've also ordered myself a big bowl of pork sinigang. Yeah, talking about my, my, the size of my rice, look at the size of your sinigang. Yes, but it's mainly water, it's very different. <laughs> also got the Korean fried chicken just come out, which looks unbelievable. Lucy getting straight in. Mm. It's so hot, as in temperature. You look crispy, give me a really close crunchy. up. Ow, ow. Oh. Yes. There you go. <laughs> Oh, lunch was amazing, super satisfying. The Korean chicken was so good, Sinigang was nice. And now we're taking a little stroll. Hotel pool's here, and then you can walk straight out. Wow, just in time for golden hour, a vlogger's favorite time of day, photographer's favorite time of day, really. It's not quite golden hour yet, but it's getting there. How nice. Oh, white sand beach right here off the back of the hotel. This is a little bit like Barakai actually when there's these hotels just right on the beach. That's, um, that's insane. And these beautiful trees here, look at that. That is like, that's a, that's a Windows XP background right there. I swear there was one similar to that. Coda's making a new friend. Oh. Wow, you're jumping. <laughs> <laughs> this boy loves to travel, I swear. He loves meeting new kids and playing. Wow, you gonna play? He still needs to learn how to jump. Uh, copy the girl. Oh, high five, high five. This is so nice. I don't know if this is much of like a swimming beach or not. They've kind of cornered it off so that the boats don't go, I guess, into this part. But there are some boats right here and there's the tide's really low right now. So you can kind of see the beach a bit more revealed um, compared to how it was earlier, but it's really cool. It feels a bit more local and less touristy than the usual strip of Alona Beach. It's more like where all the fishermen are and people for boat trips and stuff with all these boats out here. And to be honest with you, Coda just really enjoys running around on beaches more than actually swimming in the sea. He loves swimming in swimming pools a bit more, I think, than the sea. So this is perfect for him. He can just run freely on this beach and then we can hop in the pool in a second. So really nice. Wow. You watch these videos, wow, look at that. Look at that, can't even see me because it's so contrasty now with the sun, there you go. If you watch these videos, you know that Lucy and I love to get a grasp on the local life. So we always try and get out of the hotel, get out of the resort and see like what's really going on because so many times like these resorts are incredible, don't get me wrong, like these accommodations that are now available in the Philippines 
um, some new, some old, some renovated. I feel like the, all the places we've stayed on this trip so far have been incredible. But I think if you come to these places and only stay in the resort, then you're not doing yourself a good service. You're, you're, you're not doing the place uh, full justice because you really need to get out, just chat to some locals. People are so friendly here. They're always willing to chat. They're even willing to like be in vlogs and stuff like that um, a lot of the time. And that, I'm not just generalizing by saying that. This, this has been our experience in the Philippines now for uh, five years plus. We have enough experiences to go on for me to say that, but do you know what? I wish we had our drone. I wish we had a drone here. I think it would be incredible to have a drone shot of these boats. Maybe we'll ask the hotel if they have any drone footage of the area we can uh, put in for you guys, but we currently don't have a drone. We actually sold our drone back in the UK because we weren't using it and it was too big to travel with this time. Now we have to travel with all of Coda's extra stuff. The drone did get sacrificed, but maybe we'll pick up, I want to get maybe the new tiny DJI drone, the smallest one possible, just to get some quick shots. I think that would be cool to bring back into the vlogs. But yeah, just gonna spend the next, I don't know, hour down here maybe, watch the sunset, Coda can, play with these local kids. This is so good for him. I'm so glad we're giving him these experiences. I think it's so cool. Koda, where are we? <laughs> oh. oh, that's so cute. <laughs> the little girl, there's one. You're nearly two. Do you like the beach? Do you like the beach? <laughs> He's going up hilly, like this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Good running. And I just have to say, I know we don't do feet for free, but this is it's nice sand, such isn't it? soft sand. Oh my goodness. So soft, like powdery soft. Really, oh, it just feels so good. Super soft. Softer than Brakai, maybe. Soul is the ocean. 